I am so not a minimalist. That is when it comes to clothing and books. When it's anything with an engine in it. Love driving, hate cars. Anything technological. This is five years old and it was old when I got it. Anything like exercise. Yeah, fuck this shit. And my bank balance. I'm definitely a minimalist. But that can pose a little bit of a problem when it comes to traveling. I mean, I don't want to wear the same thing every day, but equally, I don't want to walk around with an elephant on my back. Now, my solution to this is a capsule collection. And a capsule collection is just a fancy way of saying that you've got a limited number of items, that they all go together, so you've got a wide variety of outfits from this limited number of items. I mean, the good news about capsule collections, at least in my case, is that they're very, very simple because it, it just involves the, the basics of menswear. That means that once you've done it one time, then with a little bit of tweaking, you're gonna be able to get carried through like different occasions, different destinations and different seasons as well. Okay, so this is it. Doesn't look like much, right? That's because it's really not very much. Um, right, we're gonna get started with, yeah, quite predictably, a pair of jeans. Um, these are my TCB 50 Slim Fits. Uh, they're my project pair at the moment. You guys will have seen the review I did on them. Um, uh, if not, I'll put that up in the corner somewhere. So that was pretty much a no-brainer. So sticking with the lower half, uh, we've got a pair of chinos because, well, you need backup, you know, just in case things happen. Um, I went for chinos because, well, we want a bit of variety, right? And I actually think that chinos are, are a bit more versatile than, than jeans are. They can be dressed up, they can be dressed down. Uh, this particular pair in, in olive, um, I just, I, I went for the olive because I think that it just goes so super well with everything I've got here. It goes beautifully with denim and I, just, I really dig the color. It also, it's a bit more forgiving with dirt, which is good when you're traveling. I do love beige chinos that also go super well with absolutely everything we've got here. But yeah, this is just a little bit more practical. Um, this particular pair, this is from the in-house line from Blue and Green in New York. I'm going to do an in-depth video on, on why I, I went for these particular chinos. As you guys can see, these are brand new. Uh, I've never actually worn them, just tried them on. Um, I want to wear them for a week or so, and then I want to go over the details with you in, like a, in a longer vlog. But yeah, that is, that's everything for the bottom half. Right, moving on to the top half. This is just as simple. We have one black t-shirt and we have two white t-shirts. Easy as that. White t-shirts, they go with everything. Black t-shirts, they go with everything. Easy. Now, these, I mean, if it's hot weather, you can just wear these alone with either of these trousers. Or you can wear it as a base layer as well and it's gonna go fantastic with the shirts that I'm gonna show you in a second. So I'm gonna put that one there, I'm gonna put that one there, and I'm gonna put that one there. Now, at this point, you're gonna notice that I'm making two piles. And this is another trick. Not all of this is gonna get packed. This pile is what I'm gonna be wearing to travel. So you don't have to carry this stuff. And I always make sure that I'm wearing the heavier stuff on my body. Okay, moving on to the last things, the shirts. We have a black linen shirt from Portuguese Flannel. We have a chambray shirt from Nudie Jeans. And here we've got a choice. So I've got a denim western shirt from, from LVC, Levi's Vintage Clothing. And we have, now this, this is somewhere between a shirt and a jacket. It's like an overshirt. And that's from The Lost Explorer. I don't want to take both of these shirts because they're quite heavy, they're quite bulky when they're folded up. And I mean, both of them go extremely well with, with all of these pieces. But I think, I think I'm going to go with the Western shirt. Simply because I feel that the overshirt, it needs a layer underneath so it's not quite as versatile. Whereas the Western shirt can just stand alone. You can wear it without a t-shirt underneath it. So that can go over there. Right, and that's, that's it. Um, these shirts I chose for a reason, and also the one that I just threw away. 
All of these shirts, they look fine without an iron. They look fine slightly crumpled. And that's important when you're traveling because you don't know if the hotel or the hostel or wherever you're staying, if they have an iron. I mean, like, you know denim, you don't need to iron it, especially a shirt. Uh, chambray, I, I, I feel it looks fine. It looks, it looks great after like five minutes of wearing with, uh, with a slightly crumpled look. And linen, linen looks amazing crumpled. And you want to, you don't want to look sloppy. You can actually, with these three, three fabrics, you can look like it's pretty much on purpose. It's part of the aesthetic. And it adds, especially with the, the crisp t-shirts, it adds a little bit of texture to the outfit as well. You're gonna notice here that there's no hoodie, there's no jumper, there's no sweater. And that's, that's what I was talking about with this being a seasonal capsule collection for traveling. That means that your choice of, of outerwear, the choice of jacket that you're gonna take with you is actually pretty important. Now, when I'm traveling in the winter, obviously the jacket is something I'm gonna be wearing. So if it's the middle of winter, I'm gonna have a long wool overcoat on or a pico, something that's really gonna keep me cozy and warm. If it's like beginning of spring or towards the autumn time, most of the time it's gonna be a leather jacket. When I'm in these transitional months and when it's the middle of summer and I just really don't wanna get caught out in the rain or something, it's always got to be a wax cotton jacket. Now, wax cotton is just absolutely amazing stuff. It's totally windproof. It's really pretty waterproof, especially if you keep the wax up. It's extremely lightweight, which is, <laughs> that makes it perfect for what I want just now when I'm traveling in the middle of summer. It can be, it can be really pretty cozy, actually, if you sort of wrap yourself up in it, if you put layers underneath it. But it's also lightweight enough that you can either like wear it open uh, or you can take it off and it's really, it's like nothing to carry. You can throw this in a rucksack. You can just like throw it over your shoulder. Easy. Now this particular model, this is from, this is from Barber. Now Barber have been making wax cotton garments for, for well over a hundred years. I mean, Barber was the brand that I grew up with. This is what all the farmers around about me wore. This is what all the hunters wore. It's what my mom dressed me in and sent me off to school to get the shit kicked out of me because of it. But you know what? Sucks to be them because I know better now and I know that wax cotton is amazing stuff. And the best thing about wax cotton, or one of the best things, is that the more you wear it, the better it looks, just like all of this stuff. And with all of this stuff, it goes perfectly. Okay, so to the footwear, because, well, we can't really go anywhere barefoot now, can we? I'm taking two pairs. I've got a pair of trainers, got a pair of leather shoes. For the trainers, I'm taking this pair of Novestas. They are natural canvas with a gum sole. And guys, I honestly cannot impress you enough how good these shoes are. They're amazing. I think I've had this particular pair for, for two years. They've seen me all around Europe. They've seen me all around Asia. And if these had been a pair of Vans or if they'd been a pair of Cons or something, well, they wouldn't be here right now because they last me about six months and they'd be absolutely stinking if they were. These, you can just put in the washing machine wherever they get a little bit mucky. They come out looking fantastic. And they just, they're just such an amazing pair of trainers. I, I really cannot recommend those enough. Uh, for, the, for the leather shoes, I'm gonna go for this pair of desert boots. They're from Clark's. Um, these started off as natural veg tanned leather. So they started off completely like pristine white. As you can see, they have had quite a lot of use, quite a lot of abuse, but they just look better for it. And both of these are a very, very summer colorway. They both go extremely well with all of the things here. And they're just, at the end of the day, they're just very, very practical footwear to travel with. Because of, of the weight thing that I was telling you earlier, uh, these are the ones that are gonna go into my pile for, for what I'm gonna wear. And these are gonna go into the rucksack. And speaking of the rucksack, this is it. It's an Osprey Farpoint 55. It's not rugged. It's, it's definitely not stylish. It's definitely not sexy. What it is, is just the best possible rucksack that you can travel with. I'm just, I'm not a suitcase guy. I don't know whether it comes back to like um, when I was backpacking as a kiddo, whatever, but I just really, really like traveling with a rucksack. And this rucksack is just, it's just, it's perfectly made for the traveler. Um, it's actually two rucksacks in one, so you've got like a little day pack here, which I don't actually use very much because I think it's really fucking ugly. And then it's just got a massive, massive compartment where you can put all your clothes. Okay, 
To finish things off, there's a few sundry items that I think we all need. First off, packing cubes. These are really the most practical things you can possibly buy for traveling. They keep everything organized and that really aligns nicely with my OCD. Already in the packing cubes is seven pairs of pants, seven pairs of socks. You guys don't need to see my pants and socks. I like to change my underwear at least once a day and so should you. Don't be a filthy beast. Then we have toiletry bag, dop kit, whatever you want to call it. I have a pair of swimming trunks that also double up as sport shorts as well. And I've got a ratty old t-shirt just in case I decide to do sports. Werner, I can hear you laughing. I, I might do sports. Lastly, I've got a travel towel. This, I won't fold out right now, but it folds out absolutely massive. It folds out really, really small. Hopefully wherever you're going, it does provide towels, but sometimes you can't take them down to the beach. And this is just a really practical thing to have alongside with you. Right, let's get packing. Now, a lot of these, uh, these YouTube packing videos would tell you to roll your clothes. Yeah, I think that actually works really, really well if it's very, very light sort of sports travel clothes. For this heavier stuff, I don't find it makes any difference and it just makes it look really, really weird when it comes out. Even if this stuff looks good crushed, it doesn't look like good all pulled out of shape. Tops. The chinos and the towel. Yeah, almost forgot this. Now remember, half of this stuff is in a separate pile because that's what you're going to be wearing. Gonna have these put aside. I don't want to put them on the table though. Also, this is just for me personally. I'm taking my camera gear because I want to do some vlogging when I'm away. The jacket, I think a little of the weather forecast is going to be like something like 30 degrees uh, when I'm actually traveling that day. I'm actually taking the heavier stuff on me, not only because of the weight, but also the ICE trains. Um, they tend to be way, way over air conditioned. So most of the time I end up like being freezing in them. So heavy jeans and a couple of layers could actually really do me some good. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to need the jacket, but I do want easy access to the jacket. That goes on top of the rucksack. And that gets strapped on. I think you guys will agree for, I think I'm going away for 10 days. And I don't think I'm going to have to wash anything apart from like maybe my pants in those 10 days. So that's it. I mean, that's... That's really not very much for so much versatility. And especially in such a light package. Right, this wasn't actually just for the vlog. I actually, I'm going away on vacation. Uh, we've rented a van. We're going away for 10 days up to the north coast of Germany. Now the van life, never done that before, but it seems like the perfect way to, to do some traveling, to get away, have a nice relaxing vacation, while being responsible and still doing that social distancing thing. So I think that's super important. And yeah, I hope the van life doesn't throw any weird curveballs at me and I've got everything I need in here. Fingers crossed. Guys, I, I hope this was useful for you. I mean, I don't think this is like the perfect packing for the van life. I'm not saying that at all, but it's the perfect packing for somebody who doesn't like to wear the same stuff every day. So I'll just caveat it with that. Anyway, if this is something you've been into and you're not already subscribed, it'd be great if you consider subscribing. Or if it's your first time here, and you're digging what we're about. Also, awesome if you could subscribe. If this has helped you out or brought you something in any way, if you've enjoyed it, it'd be amazing if you give us one of those thumbs up. That really does help the channel out. And yeah, all the links to our social media and all that good stuff, it's down in the description below. And guys, I'm gonna see you in the next couple of weeks, I hope. I mean, as you saw, I'm taking away my camera gear. I hope I'm gonna do some vlogging when I'm up there. So I hope there's not gonna to be too much for a break, if any break, this, this video will go out when, when I'm away. And yeah, until then, I will miss you and I'm gonna see you in the next vlog.